You can pretend you don't care All you wanna do is kiss me Ew. Oh, what a shame I'm not there What a shame What's going on guys? Andrew here with yet again another natural reaction. How the hell's it going party people? It's good to freaking see you. Really good to see you, especially those Billy friends out there. Say, if you're new here and you enjoy my content, please do me a favor. Go down there and hit that subscribe button for me so we can be internet friends. I've got plenty of daily content for you and I'm pretty much just looking at things that you folks suggest. I'm also on the Instagrams, at the real natural reaction if you're into that sort of thing. Anyway, if you clicked on this video, you know we're taking a look at Miss Billie Eilish again today. Do you think I was gonna not take a look at Miss Billie Eilish today? That's just silly and that's on you, dude. That's on you, cause here we are about to take a look at Billie Eilish. And this episode is, of course, a special shout out to people like, actually, I don't even have this one there, but Brad075, getting another one down on that list. Almost finished the record. I think I only have two more songs after this from the, from the, the record, by the way, which is exciting. Special shout out to people like Weird Things down in the comments, mentioned uh, Bitches with Bitches Broken Hearts. What's it called? Bitches Broken Hearts, I guess, right? Um, Adrian Gonzalez says, uh, great reaction, my guy, to some other video that I did. I'm not sure, because I got more than just this one, if you didn't know. Um, uh, they said, great reaction, my guy. I, I'd react to her Bitches Broken Hearts Vivo performance. Whole song has a soft rock feel to it. All right, I'm, so I'm expecting some soft rock tonight, or today. I don't even know why I said tonight. It's totally like the morning here when I'm filming, too. That's a weird thing to say tonight. Um, Brandy Lachey mentioned Bitches Broken Hearts, also says the Vivo live performance is the best. Um, Brie Jimenez, right? Him and, him, him and, oh man, I'm not, I'm not good at pronouncing these. Brie Jimenez, Jimenez, is that, I guess that's right, that's probably right. Brie Jimenez. Uh, says, can you react to her live performance of Bitches Broken Hearts? That's exciting. Another one for the live one. Uh, Ryda Khan says, boom, he'd recommend uh, Bitches Broken Hearts or she. I'm not sure. There's no picture there. I don't know if you're a dude or a girl. But whoever you are, wherever you are, we're about to react to this sucker. Um, Nomadine85 mentions uh, the Vivo uh, live performance of Bitches Broken Hearts. And of course, Zaira Dunlap mentioned uh, Billie Eilish singing Bitches Broken Hearts at her, one of her live concerts. So apparently, from what I'm gathering, it's that uh, her live performance of this song perhaps is the best one. Of course, Brad 075, I'm gonna go listen to it on the record and the studio version afterwards, but so far I haven't heard this and I'm excited to get right into it. But uh, before I do, I just gotta say that you should probably not even bother to put to pigeonhole Billie Eilish. I mean, she zigs while you zag, uh, forcing a periodic reassessment of your take on her. Just saying. And you know what? That's a sign of a true artist, okay? Someone whose curiosity is in, lo in lockstep with their creativity. It's a long way from, from the hard on sleeve delicacy of ocean eyes to move, uh, Oh, to the eerie uh, rumble of you should see me in a crowd, or a crown, sorry, I can't speak or read today. Um, so here's a heads up. Uh, Billy's always on the move. Uh, the LA teen has steadily widened her sound in the last two years. Uh, when her name first bubbled up in 2016, her music had both an ethereal vibe and a wisdom that bellied for years, or that bellied her years. Bellied her years, I never heard anybody say that. Uh, that's when we began falling for her and shot our Vivo Meets profile. Boom, that's exciting. That was just a, sorry, I pretended like I was talking for a second, but then I just kind of went into reading her description and stuff. I didn't make that stuff up. I wish I could speak that well or read. I, I didn't even actually, I couldn't even read it. Yeah, somebody else made it and I couldn't even read it. Anyway, I'll just shut the heck up because I'm trying to hear this. You guys are probably like, 
Are you kidding me? This dude is still just talking. I'm here for a reaction. I just want to see a guy stand there and look at a, a video that I could have clicked on and watched a normal video to myself. Just kidding. But seriously, I'm going to shut up now and then we're just going to listen to this song. I'm excited to see you guys today though, for real. Let me know what's going on in your lives during this quarantine and stuff. Just uh, talk to me. Talk to me down in those comments. All right, I'm going to press play for real. So shut your trap, Andrew. I am going to shut my trap. Don't tell me to shut it. You can't tell me what to do. I'll tell you what to do all I want. I'm trying. I'm sitting here filming and stuff, and you're just sitting here doing this. And he's like, dude, shut up and press play then. I am. That's literally what I'm saying to you. You guys subscribe. <laughs> Lift. There she is. There's the sweet lady. The sweet lady Billy. Just, just look, I just gotta pause it for a second. Just look at her. Look at that light. The natural sunlight coming in from that window over there. With the dope old school like 50s microphone in her hand. That's exciting. This one's uh, uh, more exciting. Like the, you'd think that they'd be more exciting, but they actually kind of suck when you use them live if you ask me. We used to have one back in the day. Or maybe it was the singer. You can pretend you don't miss me. You can Pause. Is this actually a live performance now? Because it totally looks like a music video slash movie. Is she about to like walk onto a stage? I'm gonna shut up. Let's go back. Man, I'm talking a lot in this one. I, I'm really excited. Every time I press record, I'm really excited to see you guys. Sorry, sorry. You can pretend you don't miss me. You can pretend you don't care. All you want to do is kiss me. Oh, what a shame I'm not there. You All can you want to do is kiss me. What a shame I'm not there. Ooh. Shots fired. No, I'm just kidding. Um, man, really, it's like a mix between her beautiful voice and the way that she like looks, right? Those eyes just like cut into you, those ocean eyes. <laughs> now, but seriously, like the way that they just like cut into you and stuff like that. That's like the billy the billy face, right? I like it. I like it. Pretend you don't miss me. You can pretend you don't care. Who's doing the who's doing those dope like background vocals too by the way? Is that is that Mr. Phineas? That sounds pretty cool. You guys hear those cool like backup folks? You can pretend you don't miss me. You can pretend you don't care. Ew. All you wanna do is kiss me. Too bad. What a shame I'm not there. Too bad you ain't there. Wow, this one's like real. Real soulful party people. This one's like, mm. this one's got me. You gotta do like this move to it. Am I right? Just kind of like, eh, nah, nah, nah. boom. That's exciting. Um, this one actually is a little, little bit upbeat. I mean, it's a little slower. But by the way, I wanted to tell you guys, I'm definitely starting to like um, slower music. I think that before I started this channel, I was just completely shut down and closed off to just everything in general. I was a mix between my, my old man brain mentality and a uh, mix between like I think some people were just putting out some really shitty music and it was really offensive to me actually for years but I'm so glad people are actually putting out good stuff and wow this is really this is nice this is real nice what is it you want? you can lie but I know that you're not fighting every time you talk it's all about me but you swear I'm not on your mind you can pretend you don't miss me You can pretend you don't care All you wanna do is kiss me Ew. Oh, what a shame I'm not there What a shame Ew Heavy. This is seriously like pretty dope I really like this one actually It's it's a slow one but it's like It's got some soul or something right? A little, a little soul Um is this live? I mean, it definitely, it sounds like a live performance. I mean, um, it, so, it sounds dope, by the way. It doesn't sound like just any live performance. It sounds like a Billy live performance, which is probably pretty dang close to a record, but it looks like a dang movie, how they filmed this. It looks like a freaking music video or something. So that's pretty amazing. Everybody knows You and I are suicide and stolen art Pretty mama's soul 
Stitches and the all your bitches broken hearts You can pretend they don't miss me by the way, remember the other day when I was all like, hey, she doesn't even really curse that much in her songs. <gasps> Billy. Close your ears, kitties. Close your ears. Pretty mama souls. Stitches in the eye of bitches, broken hearts. You Phineas, can pretend you don't it. miss wow. me. You can pretend you don't care. All you wanna do is kiss me Oh, what a shame I'm not there Ew, that's dope. Um, this is definitely pretty cool. Um, where's like the, I guess there's no bass. I guess Phineas got like a backing track or something like that. I definitely hear a little bit of like bassiness and some other kind of backing track. I guess that's what he does, right? I've seen him on those other live performances. He's got like his little board or something in front of him while he's playing too, right? Um, cause I don't see a bass man, but this is really cool guys. I thought it was going to be like a concert performance, but now I get it. It's like a private live performance. So they can make it gonna comfort me like you never do damn bitches broken hearts okay so now i get it is she like oh man so she's like too like too bad you miss me and stuff like that because i'm gone i'm with somebody else kind of deal now or whatever like kind of sounds like he's trying to piss somebody off and make them jealous or something huh i don't know i'm just talking as usual this is my first couple seconds of hearing it and like i said i'm definitely gonna listen to the studio version Gonna look over the lyrics a little bit and talk to all you Billy friends down there in the comments, which is honestly one of my favorite parts about this whole channel. So it hits me that I'm the one that got away. But I guess being lonely fits me. And you were made for begging stay. I don't know if it's supposed to be like that, but that weird like Bit like bassiness organ in the background kind of sounds like a little bit distorted by the way I don't know if it's just like on my my speaker here or whatever But it sounds like uh, Somebody messed up that mix a little bit just with that bassiness, but unless it's supposed to be like that Is that what it sounds like on the record? I don't know Or is this a completely different version than the record somebody said this is more like soft rock or whatever Is the record one a poppier version? I don't know my boy. Well, let's just pause it for a second. Let's just pause it for a second and just give that glorious orange triangle shout out, right? That's my boy. <laughs> oh, man. I've never seen a better orange triangle in my life. Ew. It's a dope guitar, too. What is it? Is that like a semi hollow body, like Telecaster or something? Dang, son. And leaves the leaves the mic up on there. That's pretty dope with the old school mic, old school soulful vibes of that one. Wow, guys, that's pretty exciting. I know uh, that this one is kind of a slower one, but I'm gonna have to give that one an ew, 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 ew. I really like that one for real. That one was pretty sick. Um, yeah, I don't even know. I think it's got the old school vibe, and that's kind of the theme, I guess, of this week or something. I've been listening to some stuff like that, but that's kind of my favorite stuff. And when people, new artists and younger artists, do that kind of stuff, I feel like they're paying homage or paying respects to the greats that came before them and stuff like that, right? They're not just clicking buttons on the computer and making like a, a computer beat or something like that, which is cool too, but sometimes you just gotta, just gotta give it that soul and use some instruments and you know um it's pretty awesome though um like i said i was expecting it to be like a live performance with a crowd and stuff but that was very intimate and, and awesome i wonder how many takes they took of that because it must have taken a couple tries to like you know they had her sit down in the chair at the certain point and stuff but she's awesome she's a natural it looked like they didn't even plan it you know what i mean it looked like they were just chilling and kind of performing and stuff too, which was dope, but awesome. Great video, great song, I'm excited now. If it's if it's okay with you guys, I'm gonna totally go listen to the album version now and I'm not gonna film it, but I'll let you know what I think of the differences, but I'm excited because I only got two left on the record. If you guys are new here, please subscribe if you like my content. Let me know what else you wanna see. I really appreciate you folks. I'll talk to you down in the comments, I'm sure, soon. 
And uh, yeah, I guess I'll just have to leave it at, I'll catch you on the next natural reaction.